the dwarf planet Pluto has always been accompanied by mystery. In 2006, NASA sent the New Horizons spacecraft to our small galactic neighbor to unravel the great mysteries surrounding this former member of our planetary system. After about nine years of travel, the time had come. The unmanned spacecraft reached the realms of Pluto and provided earthly scientists with some new, groundbreaking information about the fascinating dwarf planet. In the following video, we would like to introduce you to the galactic celestial body in the remote Kuiper Belt. In addition to the numerous astonishing findings about Pluto, we would also like to address the big questions that have surrounded the dwarf planet for many years. Interested in the most breathtaking discoveries of space? Then subscribe to our channel and stay up to date! If you like our videos, feel free to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to take a look at the fascinating topics we've linked to at the end of today's post. Pluto – Fascinating Facts About the Former Planet Why Pluto is appropriately called a dwarf planet becomes apparent when you take a look at the celestial body's equatorial diameter. Specifically, it's only about 1,475 miles. For comparison, our Earth has a diameter of more than 7,916 miles. Pluto orbits the Sun at a distance of 3.7 billion miles. Therefore, the celestial body needs an incredible 248 years to completely orbit the glistening fixed star. Due to the elliptical rotation curve, the natural distance between Pluto and the Sun is subject to some fluctuations. The maximum distance between the dwarf planet and the central fixed point of our planetary system is about 4.6 billion miles. However, Pluto never comes closer than 2.7 billion miles to the Sun. This spatial arrangement naturally leads to the fact that practically no warming solar rays reach the trans-Neptunian object. For this reason, the thermometer on the bone-chillingly cold celestial body never climbs above negative 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Regarding its material composition, Pluto is classified in the list of terrestrial, or in other words, solid celestial objects. Specifically, the dwarf planet is composed of 70% rock, while the remaining 30% consists of water ice particles. Pluto was officially discovered in 1930. Over the next 75 years, the celestial body would become an integral part of our parent, planetary system. Around the turn of the millennium, however, a fierce dispute arose among experts about the planetary status of the small celestial body. After more and more small objects were found in the trans-Neptunian areas, which resembled Pluto in their structural composition, the fate of our distant galactic neighbor was finally sealed. In order to avoid a constantly increasing number of planets in our solar system, a new classification of dwarf planets was defined in August 2006, in which Pluto was immediately included. Especially remarkable, when the space probe New Horizons left our terrestrial home to take a closer look at Pluto, it still had its official planetary status. That Pluto is not alone in its orbits through space has been known for a long time. Thus, we have known since the late 70s that the dwarf planet is always accompanied by its moon, Charon. With a diameter of more than 745 miles, Charon is more than half the size of Pluto itself. Whether Pluto and Charon should be granted the status of a double planet, because of these natural size ratios, is still hotly debated. Officially, however, Charon, which orbits Pluto at a distance of just 12,100 miles, continues to be listed as a moon for the time being. In the course of later observations, it became clear that Charon is not the only natural satellite in the immediate vicinity of Pluto. Today we know that the dwarf planet is accompanied by at least five more moons. In contrast to Charon, however, 
the satellites in question are significantly smaller. The equatorial diameters of the remaining Pluto moons range from just 6 to 60 miles. Strange Giant Ice Blades on Pluto Despite all the knowledge about Pluto, there are still numerous questions about the exciting dwarf planet that experts cannot answer. The New Horizons spacecraft, for example, provided some startling new insights into Pluto after finally reaching the celestial body in the summer of 2015. Particularly fascinating were the images of some strange blade-shaped ice formations on the surface of the celestial body. For a long time, terrestrial scientists were unable to determine the origin of these intriguing formations. The furrowed geological areas are located in the highest regions of the dwarf planet's surface. The structures, which extend around Pluto's equatorial line, not infrequently reach dizzying heights of many hundreds of meters. While these blade-like formations initially befuddled experts, the mystery surrounding the formations now seems to have been solved. According to the latest findings, the mysterious objects are structures made of methane ice. The origin of these galactic blade points lies at least partly in the sublimation of the ice. This chemical process describes the direct change of a solid substance to a gaseous aggregate state. However, since this process does not always proceed uniformly, hardened blade-like tips of frozen particles remain during the course of sublimation. This phenomenon is not a novelty within research. While in other cases the transformation of the substances sometimes takes place on the basis of water ice, the initial mass on the dwarf planet is methane ice. This circumstance led the terrestrial scientists again to the conclusion that Pluto must be subject to larger climatic fluctuations than had been assumed up to now. According to this, the methane on Pluto begins to freeze when cold weather periods occur on the celestial body. As soon as the thermometer climbs somewhat upward, the methane ice undergoes the described sublimation. In all probability, these climate changes occur in intervals of several million years. The mystery of the enormous pressure drop in the atmosphere. When scientists evaluated some data concerning the atmosphere of Pluto they had collected between the years 2016 and 2019, they were initially perplexed. In fact, the dwarf planet had lost more than 20% of its atmosphere during the period in question. This rapid drop in pressure was not at all consistent with the theoretical models that the experts had created in advance about Pluto's atmospheric evolution. In the years prior, experts had already discovered that Pluto's natural protective gas shell holds a few surprises. Accordingly, the data transmitted by New Horizons showed that the nitrogenous atmosphere of the celestial body extends more than 900 miles into the sky. As a reminder, this value corresponds to more than half the dwarf planet's equatorial diameter. In addition, it was found that Pluto's gas envelope is teeming with suspended matter. The fact that the atmosphere of the celestial body is subject to seasonal fluctuations has long been known among leading scientists. If the weak solar radiation hitting the dwarf planet increases, the nitrogen ice on the outer shell of the celestial body begins to evaporate. The gases that enter the atmosphere as part of this process in turn, cause Pluto's natural protective shell to become slightly thicker. If this is followed by the season in which the already marginal solar radiation decreases even further, parts of the nitrogen in the atmosphere freeze again, causing it to appear somewhat thinner. Within their theoretical models, the terrestrial experts had assumed that the seasonal changes would always balance each other out and would have practically no direct influence on the overall composition of Pluto's atmosphere. But the data on the actual atmospheric developments now proves experts wrong. 
What ultimately led to the dwarf planet's gas envelope losing such strength within just three years remains a great mystery for the time being. Initial conjectures suggest that the influence of a large, as yet unknown nitrogen ice reservoir could be responsible for the mysterious pressure drop in the atmosphere. This hypothesis must now be put through its paces in the course of further investigations. Mysterious Polygon Patterns Looking at Pluto's large icy plains, it quickly becomes apparent that the corresponding regions are adorned with mysterious, polygon-like patterns. The answer to the exciting question of what these structures are leads to the conclusion that natural processes on the icy dwarf planet are much more active and dynamic than science had previously assumed. The origin of this finding can be found in the huge ice plain named Sputnik Planum. This frozen area extends over about 746 miles. Particularly puzzling was the fact that the frozen plain is divided by dozens of polygonal flow structures. In order to get to the bottom of these natural patterns, the experts are using two approaches. The first hypothesis is that the structures may have eroded into Sputnik Planum as part of a shrinkage process. The other theory is based on convection. This is the flow transport of various substances that occur as a result of temperature differences. In order for such a process to take place on Pluto, a strong thermal buoyancy within the ice structures is required. Only then could the relatively warm ice particles rise to the surface of the frozen plain and subsequently create the mysterious polygon patterns. In fact, the thesis of galactic convection is currently considered the most probable. According to this theory, the upper layers of ice have an approximate temperature of negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the ice, the thermometer reaches negative 387 degrees Fahrenheit. Although the ice in the lower layers is only slightly warmer than that in the overlying areas, this temperature difference is sufficient to maintain convection in Sputnik Planum. The warmer ice from the interior penetrates to the surface, while the upper, cooler layers drift outward. At the edges of this convection process, the colder ice in turn sinks, ultimately creating the stunny polygonal patterns on Pluto's surface. Experts suggest that the average rate of convection is about 0.6 inches per year. This means that Sputnik Planum's surface is no older than 1 million years. Thus, the area belongs to the youngest geological structures in our planetary system. What do you think about the great mysteries of Pluto? We're looking forward to your comments. Thanks for your interest. See you soon.